Israel with liberty and justice for all. We'll go ahead and start with the roll call. Brian Patterson. Present. Tina Queen's not here. Mary Strong. Here. Jeff Cook, I'm here. Bob Evans. Here. Carol Lanning. Here. Glenn Bischoff is not here. We do have a quorum. First on the agenda is the minutes from the November 29th, 2023 meeting at 7 o'clock. Any additions or corrections? <coughs> Floor is open for a motion to approve. I make a motion to approve the November 29th. Mary Strong's made a motion to approve the minutes from November 25th, 29th. To have a second? Second. Bob Evan seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. One abstention. be a motion to table the minutes from the November 29th meeting due to a lack of quorum for signatures. New business, Sheriff Cates, school resource officer, contract. Evening, Council. Evening, Council. Um, it's um, just another signature for the same contract, per se, for the last uh, eight years. Um, I brought it to, uh, uh, I think, uh, commissioners back in September, and it just kind of fell on the wayside. I've talked to Tammy Chavis, uh, superintendent of schools. It needs to be signed with the agreement uh, for this year. They have a federal grant, so um, we need to have that signature of both council and um, commissioners. So the commissioner still need to sign this? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll I just want to make sure we have the right one. Yes, to sign. I'll do that tomorrow okay. as well. Yes. Great. Okay. Any questions for him? Same. Same. Everything's the same. I talked to Tammy. Uh, the, the issue with the grant um, is during the school season, so August first till the end of uh, June uh, and <coughs> end of May. June and July um, salary and everything else is paid for by the county. So um, it's a benefit for everybody in included. Okay, thank you. Okay, I do have another matter while I'm here. <clears throat> we'll, we'll go ahead and vote on oh, this real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so the floor is open for a motion to approve. So, so Brian Patterson makes a motion to approve the resource officer agreement. So I have a second. Second. Carolina seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Council. Mm -hmm. Go ahead if you um, the next thing is um, um, I just hired I was up, I hired um, a part-time employee for the administrative office. Um, what I've I'm requesting is to have her receive part-time pay at $17.66 cents an hour this year and then starting next year part-time pay at 1826 until she takes over full-time um, the full-time position this part-time position is a pathway to the full-time position she's learning this these, as much as she can this month and next month she'll be taking debbie combs position And it 
is part time, so there's no other. She has no insurance or anything else. It's just uh, just to pay per hour. It's on the amendment when they get to it. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. One other question. Since I've got you guys. Yep. Um, the bond that is supposed to be going into place next year. Um, I have a couple items that are listed as bond items. I'm, I'm asking, can I put in a um, request for purchase of vehicles right now? I don't have the money, but it's part of the bond. Is that something that you'll let me do? Um, yeah, I mean, you can request it. Um, I don't have the figures in front of me right now. They're in the package. Say again? So the money's not going to be available to that. Oh, no, yes, yes. yes. Oh, I'm not going to call it the bond. So. Correct. What we do, we put in for it right now. We don't have to pay for it until we get the vehicles. The idea is going to be July before I get the vehicles. So, again, I want to go in front of the queue because these are police rated vehicles and it'll take a period of time for us to get our um, request fulfilled. What's council's feeling? I mean, yeah, you just, you gotta get in line is what you're saying. I have to get in line, yes sir. Yeah. Exactly. It's three vehicles. You've uh, given me um, $190,000 mm -hmm. for those vehicles. That's all for this year? And then we're gonna spray out? We're gonna spray them out? I thought it was two this year and then one next year. No, he's correct. There's I mean, there's 190,000 for, for 2024. What was that? <laughs> you said? I said, I don't think you should. I thought you said, I don't think you should. I don't think we should divide and go for the vehicles. And again, it's just difficult to get anything. You have to get your application or your request in quickly. Um, I, do we need a motion? I think we just can, as long as council says it's good. Cause I'll put it in the minute. It's in the bond that, yes, you're, that money is allocated for it. Yep. Okay, so well, since we're talking about the bond, tell us, I'm to renovate my elevator. Can I start ordering pieces for that as well? Are these different lines? These are all separate lines. Mm -hmm. So that's what, so the, and again, so if that's the case, those are only two things I'm gonna do immediately right now so we can get them starting to roll because it'll probably take six to eight months to renovate the elevator as well. Absolutely, I would say get along. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Last thing, uh, we're having a deputy retire in uh, February, John Roberts. Um, We've been a, a, a good uh, deputy here. I have his um, final payout. I think you have copies up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this should come out of our salary adjustments, or? Mm -hmm. That's what he's requesting. Yeah. Okay. I'm just putting it in advance because it's usually about a month in advance or something like that. Sure. So just letting you know that okay. every time. Sounds good. That's it. Thank you, Council. Thank you. Next is the additional appropriation resolution 2023-40. Where it has been determined is now necessary to appropriate more money than was originally appropriated in the annual budget now therefore section one be it ordained by county council of franklin county that for the expenses of the taxing unit the following additional sums of money are hereby appropriated out of the funds name and for the purposes specified subject to laws governing the same general fund personal services three hundred thousand nine hundred seventy six dollars for a total of general fund, $300,976. Lit Highway Edit Tax, $60,000 for a total. Lit Highway Edit Tax, $60,000.
fund name FCG Health Benefit Plan, other services of charges, 300,000. Fund name, a total for fund name FCGE, Health Benefit Plan, 300,000. <coughs> fund name ARPA, other services of charges, $194,800. For a total out of ARPA, $194,800. Dated this 12th day of December 2023. Any questions? What does that put us up to for the health insurance commissioner? Oh. <coughs> Paper is 300000 <coughs> I believe it is 2.3 million. Any other questions? The floor is open for a motion to approve. Make the motion to approve uh, resolution 2023-20. Bob Evans has made a motion to approve uh, resolution 2023-40. Do I have a second? I'll second. Carol Lanning seconds. <clears throat> All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next is transfer of fund certificate 2023-41. The Franklin County Council hereby certifies the following action in regards to transferring from one major budget classification to another public law 24 SB effective April 14th, 1971, was done at a meeting on December 12th, 2023. From Treasurer, $1,000, to Treasurer, $1,000, office supplies. I'm sorry, I'll repeat that. Uh, treasurer postage, $1,000, to Treasurer, office supplies, $1,000. From Commissioner's PERF, $25,000, to Commissioner Social Security, $25,000. From Extension Service Agreement, $13.76. To Extension Office Supplies, $13.76. From Detained Juveniles, $12,480. To Public Transportation County Match, $12,480. From Highway Rental of Equipment, $3,600. To Highway Uniforms, $3,600. From Cume Bridge, $31,605.76. To Culvert Pike Creek, $1,605.76. From Local Streets, uh, Local Road and Street Salt, $171,469. To New Dump Truck, $171,000. $469. From ARPA Fund Animal Shelter Project, $7,157. To ARPA Fund Park Lot Drain Fix, $7,157. And that such transfers do not necessitate expenditures of more money and was set out in detail in the budget as following approved by the State Department of Local Government Finance. The transfer was made at a regular public meeting to the proper resolution, a copy of which is attached to the certificate dated this 12th day of December, 2023. Any questions?
the money in the shell, was that just extra money you had and you don't need it? Of course. The money from the dog shower, your transfer, no. was that money you didn't need? No. no. We still are going to need it. We ran short on the drain fix that was in the parking lot. <coughs> so we're just doing the transfer. I've already put in another additional for next year to get the money back into the Is okay. that this parking lot? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'll move to, uh, to approve the uh, transfer of funds uh, 223.41. Carol Lanning has made a motion to approve resolution 2023-41. Yes, Brian. Um, sorry, so my, my question. So we have money from the state road, from state road bond that's supposed to be spent on the junk truck. And that money went somewhere. <coughs> Do we know, would be appropriate to use that money back then? Is it even this year? Was it even this year? Was it even last year? I barely remember. You, we did. Yeah, so I don't remember that. Is this an additional truck that you're buying? No, it's not, it's not an additional. It's uh, money was not properly allocated for the throughout the year. Uh, Justin, can you, some of the state, they're questioning the um, money that's being moved from salt for the truck. We originally had money in state road one. Do you know? Did we spread out where that money was spent at? Do we have a list of that? I think that was the part of the bridge that said it went back down. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Bridges or more other equipment previous to this. I'm not going to show where it went. We had, it was moved to bridge expenses throughout the year. And you know, now we're faced with a bill for completing the trucks that weren't paid for. Well, hopefully we'll do a better job because that was a $2 million settlement, settlement from State for one, and there was a slush fund of trucks, up, and trucks and equipment, this, that, and the other, and that we ended up allocating more money because we can't keep a value of what we spent. So we ask, and, and this is not Justin's fault. It, it's, no, it's not. It's not even. It's not even. It's not even. It's not even. It's So we have a motion on the floor from Carol Laning to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Bob Evans seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next is the amendment eight to the 2023 salary ordinance, 2022-17. Be it ordained on this 12th day of December 2023, the Franklin County Council amended the 2023 salary ordinance with the following corrections. Park Superintendent, $20.25 per hour and $1,316.25 biweekly. A Park Assistant Superintendent, $17.71 per hour and $1,151.15 bi-weekly. Coroner bi-weekly amount, $722.50. Coroner first deputy, $76.92 bi-weekly, $2,000 annually. And uh, jail part-time, $17.66 per hour. Both employees have been paid correctly. This is a correction to the salary ordinance only. So the floor is open for a motion to approve. So moved. Bob Evans uh, motions to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Very strong seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. 
All opposed? Motion carries. Next is the the Reedy Financial Group's invoice. Invoice 10227 in the amount of uh, $5,063. The floor is open for a motion to approve. Brian Patterson makes a motion to approve the Reedy invoice 102227. Do I have a second? Second. Carol Lanning seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next is the Franklin County EMS 2024 contract approved funding. Commissioners approve this um, contingent on council's approval for funding. Okay. Uh, commissioners approve this contract um, contingent upon council's approval for funding. So the um, I guess just the highlight if any council member wants to see the whole contract it's here but probably the highlights that everyone wants to know um, the uh, the monthly payments would be fifty eight thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars a month not to exceed a total of seven hundred thousand if the full term of the contract is completed and um, And I guess the other part that's in red, it says, however, this agreement may be terminated at any time by the board if a contract is entered into with a new EMS service by providing written notice to EMS. Following such written uh, notice, both parties shall continue to be bound by the provisions thereof for up to 90 days. During such 90-day period, EMS shall continue to provide services here under, and the board shall continue to provide payment for those months actually served. In no case shall such 90-day period extend past December 31st, 2024, unless agreed in writing by the parties. So the floor is open for a motion to approve the funding. I have a question. <clears throat> I don't have that funding anywhere to pay it from. We only have the 500000 from the public safety, which is $41,666.66 a month. So should we pay this out of county general and reimburse <clears throat> once? You can do that, but we still need an appropriation to do that. So do you have enough to pay for, I guess you just put it on January? I won't even get the money until the money comes in in January, but when it comes, I will only have the 41660 That's all I have. So we'd have to appropriate it month by month for the 41000 to the 50. <coughs> No, we would need an additional 200000 appropriated to get to the 58000 I mean, I can do the additional in January. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just need a motion from us to, <coughs> to, to do it, and I can just hold it until the end of the month. Usually we distribute as soon as we get it, but we can just hold it until the end of the month after the meeting. That's that's right. Yeah. I think so. Thank you. 
first, and then <coughs> Then what, then? Then the additional. Yeah, um, yes. So the floor, the floor is open for a motion to, uh, for council to approve the funding for this uh, 2024 EMS contract. Let me ask you this question first. Where are we at in the process of putting out the bids and stuff? Just so the public knows where are we at? Well, tomorrow, Barry Ritter is going to make a presentation to the commissioners. Brian Patterson has made a motion to approve the Franklin County EMS 2024 contract that has been already signed by the commissioners. To have a second. So Carol Lanning seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next is the ordinance 2023-19. Um, it's the 2024 salary ordinance. Um, an ordinance fixing the salaries and wages for the officials and employees for various departments of county of Franklin, Franklin County, Indiana. For the calendar year 2024, salary ordinance shall be in effect on December 24th, 2023. Should I read the rest of this? I mean, we've never read that part. Um, so this is the listing of all of the salaries for the county. So the floor is open for a motion to approve. <laughs> Most of them been adjusted. Mm -hmm. Most of them been adjusted. Wasn't correct. Yes, I distributed to everybody, and they've gotten back with me. Okay. I move to approve. Bob Evans has made a motion to approve the uh, 2024 salary ordinance. Do I have a second? Second. <coughs> Mary Strong seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. No. Yeah. All right. So I'll just read the first. Okay. All right. Next is the approved bond expenditures. Um, I'll just read through 2024's um, what what we have in mind to spend the the bond money on for for next year. Um, Sheriff's department. 
is the the rooftop heating and cooling unit, fifty six thousand three hundred fifty dollars. New vehicle and replacements, one hundred ninety thousand. Elevator retrofit, one hundred thirty thousand. New dispatch center workstations, fifty thousand um, dollars. In car laptops, five thousand one hundred dollars. Um, steel exterior jail security doors times two, fifty thousand um, dollars. Lexipol, um, two twenty seven thousand. Replacement of the refrigerator, six thousand dollars. EMA department, eight hundred hertz radios, thirteen thousand dollars. Emergency uh, response vehicle with emergency lights, sixty thousand dollars. Um, EMA department also other emergency response equipment, three thousand dollars. The clerk's department of seven thousand um, dollars. Assessor uh, department, the uh, pictrometry uh, equipment, forty thousand one hundred fifty dollars. Highway department single axle dump truck number one, one hundred twenty thousand. Highway department trailer fifteen thousand. Tractor with mower. One hundred and twenty thousand. If that's what you want to do, yeah. Yeah. Brian Patterson has made a motion to approve the uh, payments for the 2024 bond. Do I have a second? Awesome. Caroline in seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion carries. So next is on the agenda is the uh, County Council's 2024 appointments. So we'll just go right down the list then. The Southeastern Indiana Regional Planning. And that, that is a council member. I'm sorry, what's that? Are you on that or is it Glenn? I'm on. No. It, yeah. Glenn's on the Southeastern. Recycling. Yep. So, um, the floor um, is open for nomination. Brian Patterson has made a motion to uh, nominate Carol Lanning. Do I have a second? Second. Bob Evans seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Carol Lanning is our appointment. Um, next is the Southeastern Indiana Recycling, which is also a uh, council member. And our current uh, appointee is Glenn Bischoff. Any reason to change? Nope, he's done a great job so far. I nominate Glenn. Glenn Bischoff is a uh, nominee for uh, Bob Evans for the Southeastern Indiana Recycling. Do I have a second? Second. Mary Strong seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Glenn's our, our uh, appointee for the Southeastern Indiana Recycling. Um, <clears throat> next is the Batesville Economic Development. Um, our current um, Appointee is Amy Streeter, and uh, I, I do know her, so I, would, I mean, she's her heart's in it, and so I would I would recommend her. I make a motion to Mary Strong's made a motion to nominate Amy Streeter for the Batesville Economic Development. Do I have a second? 
Carol Lanning seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Mary Streeters are appointing for the Batesville Economic Commission. Next is the Franklin County Redevelopment Commission. We have two appointees. <coughs> so currently we have Derek Cole and Brian Patterson. And we had one more, correct? Zach, Zach Thompson. Zach Thompson. Put in for him. Yeah. Yep. I make a motion for Zach Thompson and Brian Patterson for the economic. Mary Strong has made a motion to appoint Brian Patterson and Zach Thompson to the Redevelopment Commission. Do I have a second? Second. Bob Evans seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Our two appointees to the Redevelopment Commission is Brian Patterson and, and Zach Thompson. And then I need a, a correction for um, the appointee to the Economic Development. We put in the one on a yearly basis, and it's actually a four year term. So last year, you guys appointed Tom Palmer, so he still has three years left on that term. All right. Congratulations, <laughs> Is there anything else to come before council? <coughs> Floor is open for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Caroline has made a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Brian Patterson seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Meeting adjourned. <laughs>